Hello and welcome to your JCTV Daily News Update. I'm Lyndon Schmidt. On the show today, I'll be speaking with JC Student Senate Senior Representative Cody Rowland about what they're working on. Also, I have a very special announcement in a minute, but that's going to have to wait. Because in local news, a school bus rolled into Ottertail Power yesterday. According to the Jamestown Sun at about 8.15 a.m., the parking brake on a Dietrich school bus failed while the driver was in the Jamestown Middle School using the bathroom. When the driver went outside, he noticed the bus was rolling towards the building and physically tried to stop it, but fell down. The bus dragged a yield sign across 2nd Street Southeast before colliding with the building. Ottertail area manager Denny Ellefson was in his office during the accident and said, quote, It was a pretty big boom. It hit pretty hard and didn't do much damage to the bus, end quote. Jamestown police officer Kent Warren said the driver did his pre-route inspection and found nothing wrong. But somewhere along a 65-mile morning route, mud stuck to the parking brake mechanism. Damage to both the bus, sign, and building were estimated at around $6,000, and the bus was repaired less than three hours later. And right now, we'll go to our guest, Cody Rowland. Cody, thanks for coming on today. I understand you've got some stuff to tell us about Senate. Definitely, Lyndon. Uh, first thing, November 6th through the 8th. Uh, we have Family Weekend coming up, there's a basketball game planned, and there's other fun events. So if you have family members, parents, sisters, brothers, uh, yeah, invite them out for Family Weekend on November 6th through the 8th. Uh, next we have a, our first fundraiser coming up is Penny Wars, and that's going to be running from November 9th through the 20th. And the dorm with the highest point total uh, will receive a traveling trophy, so it'll be kind of an ongoing thing through the years. Um, next, we have two work-study positions available for uh, recycling, and they'll be working with ECOS. Uh, one of the big things Senate's pushing right now is recycling. And then this is uh, just something that just came up this year. Um, the senators, the senators of automated, or they brought up AEDs, which is automated uh, external defibrillators on campus. And this is something that uh, was brought up by one of the freshman senators, uh, and we're working on getting some of those just in case if someone goes into cardiac arrest or anything, that we do have that emergency uh, help available for them. So we'll have that on campus, huh? Uh, yeah, we're trying to get it in, I think, at least one of the buildings. Um, I know, I think the Ryland was the target building just because we have big groups there yeah. and, and types. So if something, some emergency thing does happen, that we do have that. That's a good idea. That thing. And lastly, um, the organizational fund, um, which you're probably familiar with, but for any organizations that are looking to put on events on campus that's open to everybody and they're lacking funds or they need a little bit of money, um, yeah, the organizational fund, I know we have plenty of money in there, so yeah, definitely apply for some org fund money if you need it. Okay, and the uh, penny wars, what is, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with uh, where the money goes to on that, where does that go to? Um, the Penny Wars will be our, so our fundraiser for this semester. Uh, we haven't decided exactly where the funds are going to go, but the first semester is usually something local, like with Jamestown College. Um, last year, one year I know we did library furniture, and one year we did rentals, so it'll be something related to Jamestown College. It might even be the uh, uh, automated external defibrillators, so uh, that's not for sure. And Penny Wars. Um, all the pennies count as positive, so any penny that you get or you obtain is a positive value, and then any uh, silver or dollars, that goes against you. So if you wanted to take out cruisy or something, you put like a dollar or twenty dollars in there, and that would drop them down considerably. Okay. Do you remember who won last year? I, nope. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to assume sure. it was the seniors. Yeah, let's go for it. Or Prentice. at least the, the guys that are seniors now. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, it's getting about that time for my favorite holiday, personally. And that means uh, that we're going to have Trick or Can for Halloween. Definitely. Now, that's a pretty good fundraiser. It's pretty fun. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's an awesome time uh, to get together with your team, organization, friends, uh, anybody that you want to do a little uh, going out about, uh, around the town and uh, Trick or Canning. Uh, well, it starts October 29th. It's on a Thursday, so it's right before Halloween. And it'll be 6 to 6.30, and L2 is a free pizza party. And then from 6.30 to 9, we'll be out on town, trick or canning. Um, any group is invited, no matter what size. Like, I know we had groups of four last year. Grace on campus was a group of four. And then we also had a, a track team that had, like, 20 or so. And so every sports team is invited, every organization. Uh, you don't have to be an organization. You can just ask friends and get together, give yourselves a team name. Um, and all the food that we, uh, that we uh, obtain will be will be donated to the Community Action Food Pantry, and that's just uh, right behind Jamestown College. 
And then there'll be, there'll be prizes for the first place team, second place team, and then also there'll be door prizes for everybody. So everybody has a chance to win something and ultimately uh, Community Action Food Pantry will hopefully get a lot of food items for, for people that need it. Uh, well, it usually does. Awesome, all right. Um, and also I'd just like to uh, say congratulations for quarterbacking the winning team, the uh, 2009 JC Intramural Flag Football Champions. <laughs> Yeah. We have the quarterback right here. Thanks, Lyndon. But we, but we can't stop there because ultimately, like if anyone was at the game, we know that Lyndon Schmidt played a huge part oh. in this. He had uh, two interceptions and oh. also the defense just showed up huge, uh, holding them to, to four points this time, which was, yeah. which was a huge victory. And also, I got to give a shout out to the offensive line who did an awesome job blocking. Yeah. So, yeah. The guys in the trenches really did, did work. Just we needed the big guys. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming on today. Yeah, thank you, and Lyndon. Hopefully, we'll have you back in the future. Yeah. Definitely. All right, uh, now for your weather. Tonight we'll see a low of 30 degrees, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of precipitation. And tomorrow afternoon will be mostly cloudy with a high of about 45 degrees. And in Jimmy Sports, uh, they were idle today, but uh, women's wrestling will be taking part in the Calgary Duels in Alberta, Canada tomorrow. Also, women's soccer will host uh, Central Christian College out of Kentucky at about five o'clock. Women's basketball will host Brandon University at 7 p.m. at the high school, and volleyball will look to continue their dominant play as they travel to Rapid City to take on South Dakota School of Mines. Now, they haven't lost a set since early September, so uh, those girls are really uh, rolling along in DAC play. We'll have the uh, scores and highlights of each of those when you tune in to Monday's update. And uh, now for your special announcement that I mentioned earlier. At 12 a.m. this morning, the one and only John R. McNeil turned 23 years old. Happy birthday, Johnny, and ladies, just a reminder, he has a single room in Cybolt. And that's the Thursday broadcast for everybody here at the Jamestown College Student Media Center. This has been Lyndon Schmidt with your JCTV Daily News Update, connecting the campus with the community.